in any video I've ever made or even just seen where it's like, oh my god guys, you need to go and farm here, it's super fast. Ends up helping some people, but inevitably, the more people that see it, the more it gets used, and it ends up so contested, it's useless for everyone. Well, strap yourselves in, we're doing it again. No, I'm only joking. I'm going to tell you where I personally farm the rep to get the supply logistics rep, and this is so I can get my rune on each class, but ultimately, I want to give you the knowledge of how I came to the conclusion that the couple of spots I'm going to show you are the best. This way you can take the knowledge and apply it using the add-ons I use and find your own spot that works for you. So first let's break down what the barriers of this reputation actually are and how we can completely tear those barriers down. The first problem is you can only carry one incomplete supply box at any given time. The second issue is that you have a one hour cooldown on your hearthstone. The third issue is if you're a mage and you teleport every time you get one it's still going to cost you more silver in reagents than you make from handing it in. And the final final problem is that they're so RNG dependent, as in you don't know when they're going to drop. You could farm for two seconds, two minutes, or two hours, two days, probably a bit extreme, but you get what I'm saying. Sometimes it can take minutes up to an hour before you actually see a supply crate drop. Now, picking those points apart, if we look on this list here, you can see there ain't actually that many different boxes. So carrying four to five different ones worth of materials isn't going to take up too much bag space, but that means if you're lucky, you could potentially get two or three complete boxes to go and hand in in one go, which will save a considerable amount of time. So that's really battling the fact that you can only carry one in your bags. The second issue that I said was about a one hour half stone. Now that doesn't really matter. You'll be teleporting back to town every 30 seconds if you needed to. So you don't need to worry about your half stone at all. You can delete it. No, don't do that. Don't delete it. Keep it. You might need it at some point. And then I mentioned the mage. The reason I wanted specifically to mention the mage is because they do get it easier unless you're going to follow the method that I'm doing now. Because being able to teleport back to town whenever you want to hand these in obviously is a big bonus. That's why I wanted to throw it in as a negative and say, well, it does cost them 10 silver for the pleasure. And then finally, the RNG of them dropping. Well, actually, that's the big thing that you're going to take away from this video, I hope, because we're going to eliminate as much of that RNG as possible, because if you aren't aware, chests in the open world have a ridiculously high chance of containing one of these. When I say open world, dungeons as well, of course. In fact, it's more uncommon to find a chest without one than with one, which is also an interesting thought. You know, the fact that there are a couple of chests in Wailing Caverns, there's loads of chests in Shadow Fan Keep. If you're a rogue or a druid, you could go and do those. It's just the unfortunate fact is you're always going to have to have your hearthstone ready or you're going to have to run back, get to the entrance of the dungeon, which you could do by someone resetting for you. But uh, yeah, I don't think dungeons would be quicker than what we're going to look at now. Now, there's a couple of add-ons that you're going to need that are just going to make this a lot easier, especially if you want to actually find places to farm it yourself which is going to be Logout Skip, which is an add-on which shows you essentially where you would end up in the world if you was to find somewhere to log out and then where it would teleport you to. So if you're not aware of Logout Skips, I mean, they're in the Rested XP guide if you use Rested XP to level, and it's good use of these Logout Skips that makes Rested XP so fast. Link in the description if you buy the guide. Obviously, it helps support the channel, and it's got all the rune locations in it as well, which is worth mentioning. So if you create a new character, you can literally just go, oh, I want to know where this rune is, and it will send you off to go and get it, which is pretty cool. And that's actually just part of the guide. That's free of charge. But anyway, enough of that. It's just where I actually got the idea from, to be fair, was from the Rested XP guide, where when you've got the logout skip add-on, you can show logout skips and you can show death skips, and it turns your map into... It looks a little bit of a mess. If I explain to you how it works, so the logout skips, when you enable it, it shows you all of these lines, and then it's got a cross in each of these sections. So what this basically means is, if you was in this section here somewhere and you was to log out and do a log out skip, you're going to end up at the X here, which is going to be Camp Tarajo. The same applies for death skips. So if you was to die all the way up in this top left corner, you would then end up at the Spirit Reza here in Camp Tarajo again. And the same goes with all of these other sections. So you just look in the section, you look at where the X is, that's where you're going to end up if you either die or you use a logout skip, then obviously it's these sections instead. The reason the sections are different is because when you do a logout skip, it's either going to take you to a spirit healer or it's going to take you to an instance portal of some description. Now it's the instance portal which is incredibly important and it's actually what we're going to be using. The other add-on you're going to want is Gathermate. So Gathermate shows you on the map where locations of chests are, herbs, mines, everything, but it's the chests that we're interested in. So to get this to work, once you've installed it, just go to Gathermate and then you also, when you're downloading the add-on, you're going to want to get the Wowhead data pack for it as well. You simply go to import, 
you'll just tick what you want to import. So we just want treasure. I always just tick fishing as well. So it can actually be imported because it doesn't look like you can only do treasure and then you import the information. Now you can filter and turn everything off here. So I would just select none for herbs, mines and fish and I'll just have treasure turned on. I also turn off battered footlockers because I don't really care where the rogues battered footlockers are. But now when we open the map and we look somewhere, we can go, oh, look, there's all the chests. And then to explain exactly how a logout skip works, you do it inside a cave, so you need to be under the terrain, as in the well terrain, and you need to be about a full character's height above the floor. So what you're looking for is something that's taller than you that you can stand on in a cave, and then when you log out using the add-on, you'll be able to work out exactly where you're going to end up when you log out so the first time round on my mage where i farmed these chests was in stone talon mountains here and the reason i've done it here is because there's plenty of places you can log out and when you log out it's going to take you here which just saves the little run across the map and then you've only got a short run to some rock retreat where you can then fly to thunder bluff hand in fly back, run over to the mine again, then either find a chest or kill loads of mobs, which you should be killing every mob you see as well, by the way, because every one of them's got a chance to drop one of the supply caches that you need. So you might as well kill everything while you're looking for chests. In fact, I would say I find more from the mobs than I do from the chests. So interesting thought. And then in this particular situation where you're in this mine, you can sort of get on this digger here and go right up to the top. You can log out and then it's going to send you over to the spirit healer. And as I say, you've now not got that far to run to the flight path. That's exactly what I've done on my mage to get to honor to get the rune. And it wasn't too bad. It was fairly quick, but it could have been quicker. And that's where I came up with this idea. And I've got to admit, when I say this idea, I've seen tons of people doing it already. Now, I don't know if they're actually log out skipping or they're just farming there. If we look at Ogrimmar, you can see this X here, which is actually the instance portal into like the sergeant's room where you can actually get honor gear and stuff like that. And this section actually goes over into the barrens and covers Boulder Load Mine at the top, which has got several chests and lots of enemies that you can kill. And it's in a cave. So what you can do is go in here, kill anything that you see, looking for the chests outside and inside. And then when you're there, the really good thing is if you get lucky and you find a chest outside or you kill a mob outside and it drops one straight away, you've got somewhere you can do the logout skip right at the start of the cave. And if you was deeper in the cave, you've got somewhere there as well. Let me show you. So like you can see, we've come over, we found a chest straight away outside and it's got one in. And I kid you not, I literally started recording as I was walking in and happened to find this chest instantly. That was not set up for the video. <laughs> I'm as surprised as you are. And then what you're going to want to do is just run into the mine. Now, again, you're going to want to kill everything on the way and you can quite clearly see where the battered chests are if you're using Gathermate, like I suggested. When I say kill everything on the way, that's assuming that you obviously haven't actually been as lucky as I was and got a chest instantly. And you can see someone else doing the logout skip here now, and it's probably because he's actually following rested XP and he's questing. But when you jump off of the fire up onto this beam and then you log out, it's going to teleport you instantly to Ogrimmar. Now, I'm not going to let this teleport go off because I actually want to go and show you the other section if you was deeper into the mine. So going all the way in, you'd be just killing everything along the way. And you've got two paths you can take when you get to the end. If you get to the end of the cave and you go straight ahead, there's actually a chance at a chest down here like you can see on the mini map. But we're not actually interested in the chest because we just want to get back to Ogrimmar because we've already got our waylaid supplies. So instead, you're going to go left. And when you get around this corner, you'll see a tent here. What you're going to want to do is jump onto the barrels, onto this little ledge, and then jump onto the tent. That's it. You're done. Now you can log out. And when you log back in, you'll be in Ogrimmar ready to hand in. Now, the beauty about this is it's going to send you straight into here. Like I said, the instance portal that takes you to the Hall of Legends. All you're going to want to do is just jump down and go and hand in over outside the auction house. Now, I'm not going to get any rep because I'm already honored on here, but now you've got a decision to make. The one I got, for example, was lesser mana potions. Now, this requires 20 lesser mana potions, so you could absolutely carry 20 around with you just on the off chance that you got this or you can just hand it in incomplete. Yes, you're going to get less rep, but you are going backwards and forwards pretty damn fast. Now, the same would apply if you was to use the cave at Skull Rock, so just outside Ogrimmar. It doesn't really matter either way, but they're really low level, and I reckon you're going to see a lot more people there as well. So a lot more competition on chests. You're probably not going to be that lucky to be able to just rock up and find a chest instantly. But also do remember, try and ask for a layer swap. Use Nova World Buffs, which is another add-on, which is going to show you which layer you're currently playing on. So looking at Nova World Buffs at the moment, if I weren't really happy and there was too much contest in that cave, 
I'm currently on layer 3. I could then use the guild layers button or asking guild to see what layer people are actually on and then get invited to a different one where hopefully there's less competition for the chests, for the mobs and all of that. So using these add-ons, you can quite easily find your own little area where you want to go where it's got a dense population of chests. Population of chests? Yeah, kind of makes sense. And somewhere you can execute a logout skip in a cave to end up close to a flight path or ideally an actual city where you can just hand them in straight away. For the Horde, I'd love to hear where you guys are doing it, but I don't think there's anywhere better than the boulder load mine. Just on the basis it takes you straight back to Ogrimmar and you're literally a few feet away from actually handing it in. Now, I don't play Alliance and I've had a look at all the rested XP guides at where the logout skips are. And quite honestly, the best one I potentially thought of was actually the mine at the north of Loch Modern. And it's for no other reason other than the fact that there's plenty of places where you can execute a logout skip inside. There's loads of battered chests around. And when you do the logout skip, it's going to take you straight back to the Flight Master, where you can then just fly to Ironforge, hand in, fly back, run up, do the same again, rinse and repeat. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't play Alliance, so really use the information that I've given you to maybe find one that's better than that. Because, as I say, I've not even leveled an alliance yet, so maybe you already know somewhere that's really good. And a couple of other points that will just speed this up and you absolutely should do. When you know you're about to sit down and do a couple of hours rep farming to try and get this reputation, go to Thunderbluff or go to Darnassus and get your world buff. It's 20% movement speed, which is huge. So when you're running out of the back door here at Ogrimmar to go out and run along and down up into the mine again, you're just gonna be moving there a lot quicker. And the same would apply to wherever you go. If you chose to go Stone Talon Mountains, cause it is tried and tested, as I say, I done all the way through Friendly and Honored in this exact place, that run backwards and forwards is gonna take some time. Even if you are log out skipping back to the Spirit Healer, there's no reason not to run around with the BFD world buff on because I'd say it's 20% movement speed. It's a no-brainer. And the final point really is when you're going to go and do this farm, think about your runes and think about your talents and how you can get a little bit more AoE or a little bit more cleave or even a bit more survivability. So when you're running through these mines, you can grab three, four, or even five mobs and kill them all at the same time. The quicker you're killing, the quicker you're looting, the more chance you've got of actually finding a supply cache off of one of the mobs and also less chance someone coming along and stealing a chest while you're busy like slowly killing loads of different mobs so having some sort of aoe build would actually be super strong as well and it's what i do personally like i said right at the start of the video the whole purpose of this really was to give you the ability to go and find what works for you i've gave you the spots that i've been using and they work really really well but go and experiment with these add-ons and find a really sick place for yourself i tell you now the logout skip add-on for the actual death skips is amazing like i've just started leveling a rogue and i wanted to get to thunder bluff to get the world buff and boon it so I could then go back to the undead area and start leveling properly. I say properly with world buffs, but yeah, it just makes it a lot quicker, don't it? So I pretty much death skipped from every single segment. So as soon as I stepped foot in the Barrens, I got to around here, I died, spawned at crossroads. I then ran down the road until I got to just about here, died, spawned at Camp Tarajo. I ran into Mulgore, died, spawned at this spirit here. Like You see what I mean? It's really powerful when you know exactly where you're going to end up depending on where you die. And apologies if you've used this for a long time. I, I genuinely haven't. It might be a really well-known add-on in classic era. It's not something I've really ever worried about before. It was only when I was looking at the logout skips and I was like, there's got to be an easier way to know where you're going to end up. I came across this. So yeah, if you've skipped right to the end of the video for some reason, Boulder Lobe Mine, probably my favourite place. The Mine in Windshear Crag, probably second favourite. And on the basis, it's more of a theory for Alliance rather than a true tested fact. I would go for the Mine at the north of Loch Modern and doing logout skips so you can get down to Falsamar. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Big push to 100k. Let's do it. And as I say, if you haven't got rested XP ready to actually get yourself to 40 and then 50 and then 60, Link in the description and the pinned comment. Obviously, it is a paid leveling add-on, but trust me, it's worth every dollar. Good luck with a rep farm. It's not easy. And if any of you were like, oh my God, like, uh, why are you not just doing the item restore? You know, deleting them all and then using the item restoration tool. They fix that very quick. That doesn't work anymore. Because trust me, it was probably going to get mentioned, but I was quite sad when I went on my druid and it, you know, no such luck. But yeah, again, like, subscribe. See you on the next one.